Joe. Hey, great to see you. you. Yeah, good to see you, man. <laughs> uh, a lot of talk again this year uh, about AI at mm -hmm. MWC. There's no hyperbole at all. Zero. No, it's all it's just stone cold, <laughs> right. serious Straight analysis. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, but seriously, yeah. it's not a new thing to the uh, Blue Planet uh, portfolio, right? No. How, many, how many years have you been uh, working on your artificial intelligence capabilities? Well, I think if you go back in time a bit, you look at things like um, uh, learning models, data management, all of those concepts have been around for, for years, right? But they've all led up to this point where we're actually trying to monetize or operationalize AI, which is fantastic. And I think we've hit the right, or we've hit our stride as an industry to go tackle that. But we've been working on this for three years in the mm -hmm. portfolio. We use AI in the portfolio today. Um, as everyone's talking about it, and that's important, I think what we're getting to now, which I really like, mm -hmm. is how are we actually going to use it? How is it going to be applied? In what situations and what circumstances? And I think that's fun, that's exciting, and uh, that's what we're talking about here. That's really interesting, and it resonates with me because I'm hearing a lot more now about the use of AI uh, to make money, mm -hmm. whereas last year the conversation seemed to be very much focused, about, uh, focused on reducing OPEX and saving money, yeah. and carriers really need to learn how to make more money. Yeah. Otherwise, they're going to get relegated to this kind of data utility level, yeah. uh, you know, where other people like OTTs make money over the top of their infrastructure. Yeah. Where are they in the process of learning how to make money in new ways? Uh, look, I think that if, you, if you, you look at the collapsing or the combining of ecosystems to, to answer that question. So you've got a massive investment going on in, with hyperscalers and building out the infrastructure for AI, obviously. And then you've got the operators themselves, the service providers, who are connected to every single point of presence in person and business on the planet. Somehow those two things have to be brought together, obviously, to create value. Mm -hmm. And the as-a-service movement, in a way, is a reflection of trying to make sure that you can get value out of that whole ecosystem. So uh, I think what we're starting to hone into is how do I use, if I'm an operator, how do I use my connectivity, no matter what type of connectivity that is, and then to create an as-a-service offering that takes advantage of the environment, the hyperscaler environment, the use of cloud, and these specific services for verticals, let's say, or for uh, any type of use case that uses AI then can be monetized. So I think, I think that's how people are generally looking at it. Mm -hmm. But if you just walk around the hall, you'll see millions of examples of people who are making recommendations uh, or have ideas about it. But what's actually out there yet, I think we're still trying to figure that out. Yeah. I mean, it's tough to triangulate exact, exactly where we are on this journey, uh, but that's your job. Yeah. I mean, where are you going to take Blue Planet over yeah. the next two or three years on this yeah. incredible journey, yeah. uh, which you've been on as a division of Siena? Yeah. Well, look, I think you, you started that question on AI, on AI around operations, mm. but Blue Planet, we're a next generation OSS layer, right? So that's what we focus on. The monetization generally goes into the hands of someone on the product side who's trying to figure out, well, how do I take this and turn this into something? We're using AI from an operation standpoint, obviously, right? We're trying to make the service provider faster, better, stronger, uh, and help them reduce cost. Um, but we actually do believe that you have to take an approach at the OSS layer around creating a data model that can be tapped into. So imagine across inventory, assurance, and orchestration, which is the OSS layer that you now have a common data model that you can plug in apps or sockets, AI apps, et cetera. We have something, a concept we like to say, the democratization of mm. AI. Mm. It doesn't have to be my AI, it doesn't have, it could be the operator's AI, it doesn't matter. Plug it into that data model on the services layer in the OSS mm. and then turn it into something. Mm. And that's what we're going to make sure happens. That's a remarkably clear explanation, a concise explanation of an incredibly uh, complicated topic yes. and, and that's that's what you do for a living so yeah. I respect that but mm. what I take out of that is this horizontality or I don't even know if that's what yeah no, I get it I get where you're going. <laughs> but it's a horizontal layer yeah. uh, and that really moves us as a telecom industry away from these stovepipes and this verticalization that we've always yeah. uh, you know carried with us that was how we used to do right. it I mean, our carriers, carriers understand that now, mm -hmm. right? And, yeah. and, and they're starting to redesign their networks uh, to accommodate that horizontal layer, in your case with the OSS. Right. Uh, and that, that's what they need in order to support those vertical industries. Is that right? That's right. Um, if you look at, if you take uh, inventory as an example, 
uh, we announced a, an important project with Lumen a little while back, right? Where, where you're, you're collapsing a large number of disparate inventory systems into mm -hmm. one. But the point is not that you're collapsing all these invent inventory systems to, down to one, although that's operationally much more efficient. The point is you have a clean source of data across your whole operation. Mm -hmm. Well, then what can you do? What, you, what can you do with that? You can make the business better. You can make it faster. It reports information to other systems. You can do all kinds of great things if that's clean and modernized. Mm -hmm. And then you can go work toward AI and you can do other stuff with that clean data layer. It's not just inventory. Obviously, there's other systems that connect to that. Mm -hmm. But the point is, I think that's, that's, the, that's the rapid migration that we're seeing with uh, operators trying to tackle this problem. Mm -hmm. Joe, how's it going with customer acquisition? Uh, are you, are you adding some new big names to the uh, the trophy wall? Yes, Blue, Blue Planet, uh, things are going really good for the organization right now. We're very pleased with the business. Uh, we've had some great quarters of growth uh, over the last couple of quarters, and we're excited uh, where it's taken us, man. It's great. Right. Yeah. yeah, it's great to see you. You've got, yeah. a, you've got a great energy, as always. <laughs> Thanks, man. You know, it's I'm always trying cool. to, Hopefully, some of it rubs off on me. Day three, I'm... <laughs> running on fumes well, a little I, bit. I hear you. That's right. Let's take it and let's roll to the next thing, baby. Let's but it's do it. actually <laughs> been a good show, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been, it's been more, it, it's pragmatic AI yeah. rather than sort of the bluster that well, we have. Let me give bit. you a, listen, I, I think what's really interesting about this show that's a headline for you uh, and Please. the organization in general is that um, I'm, it's Mobile World Congress by name, but it's not mobile. <laughs> alone anymore. And I think that's interesting. If you walk around this show, maybe five years ago it was a lot of uh, all mobile. This has become a broad-based communications show from the cloud through AI, through mobile, through transport networks, you name it. I think that's really interesting. This show is evolving very quickly and it's of high value to all of us. Yeah, I mm -hmm. think within five years, 50% of the haul out there will be about digital industrialization. And of course, you're already there. I yeah. think that's a that's a really important point. Mm -hmm. You can just look at what everyone's saying about their business and how they're changing their business, uh, and uh, and it's broad based, not just mobile. Mm -hmm. Although mobile clearly important uh, to this event, mm -hmm. but it's fascinating to see the evolution that's happening here at the event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, it's great to spend time with you, Steve.